Stars fans, Gabe Diamond with you again for Texas Stars Plays of the Week. The Stars Week started off in Oklahoma City against the Western Conference leading Barons on Wednesday, February 22nd. But against the odds, Texas opened the scoring in the hockey game. Jordy Ben scored on the power play for his first goal in 14 games. Josh Fisher has the call on ESPN Austin from the Cox Convention Center. Texas into the line, right side, it's Ben cutting in, snapshot scores! Texas has taken a 1-0 lead over the Oklahoma City Barons. Jordy Ben just walked it in right side and dangled his way, slipping the puck five hole on goaltender David Lenevu and Texas strikes with a power play goal. The Stars nearly took a lead out of the first period, but the Barons tied the game with just five seconds to go in the opening frame. Right wing half wall down into the corner, it's hard to kind it up top. Helmer, cross ice, left side, Chorney down low on the doorstep, centered in front, they score! Mark Arcabello centered one in front that I believe went off the stick of Texas Stars captain Brad Lukowicz and the time of the goal 1955. The momentum changing goal at the end of the first set the stage for a big second period on the part of the home team. Ryan Keller scored the go ahead goal early in the frame and then a goal later Arcabello tallied again for a 4-1 to Barons advantage. Right side of the line, right wing circle, Arcabello shot score! Make it 4-1 to one, Oklahoma City. Mark Arcobello, make no mistake about it. And the time of the goal at 12.25 of the second period. Oklahoma City scored once more in the third period for a 5-1 final. Two nights later, the Stars were back at it on home ice, hosting the Houston Arrows on February 24th. Again, Texas opened the scoring. This time, rookie Scott Glenny converted a chance on the doorstep midway through the first period. Right point case, rink wide pass for Lukowicz, left point blast, save made, rebound, just backhanded wide by Senior, chance score! Scott Glenny puts in a rebound and the Texas Stars have taken a one to nothing lead. Glenny, his 12th goal of the season, time of this goal, 11-23. With a one nothing lead, the Stars had a dream start to the second period. Houston penalties gave Texas the five on three opportunity and Angelo Esposito made the arrows pay with his fourth goal of the season. Down into the corner, Esposito with control. Up top, right point, Dillon. Switched out, worked left circle, Morin in front. Backdoor feed, they score! <laughs> Angelo Esposito with a power play goal to give the Stars a 2 to nothing lead on a backdoor feed from Travis Morin. One minute and five seconds into the second period, the Stars have a 2 to nothing lead. Ahead 2-0, Texas gave up a goal in the second period. But the Stars made the next statement in the third as Francis Wattier scored to put Texas back in front by two. Left circle in tight, down low for Glenny. Walks it back towards the corner, now sets up in the circle. Down low, Senior on the doorstep, rebound, chance, Wattier scores! Francis Wattier with his 12th goal of the season. It's a power play goal, and he was doing a little bit of work in the paint. A garbage goal, a rebound, and Wattier has given the Stars a 3-1 lead. Just in case the Stars thought they would coast to victory, Houston's John DeSalvatore made them sweat near the end. Ten seconds on the five on three. Left wing half wall, Fontaine for the arrows. One last push down low to the corner. Backdoor feed, they score! Jeff Tafe goes cross ice to the captain, John DeSalvatore. And the Houston Arrows have cut the Texas lead to 3-2 with 7.42 to go. Despite the tally, Texas triumphed 3-2 as Glennie and Colton Sevier finished with multi-point games. The next night on February 25th, the Stars tried to double their points with another home game against Houston. This time, the Arrows opened the scoring early in the first. But Texas responded shortly after on a rare goal from defenseman Brendan Dillon. Gazdick on the left wall had it and it got poked out to center. The Stars will bring it back in again, right side. Dillon with control. Brendan Dillon, shot score! The Texas Stars have tied the game 1 1. It's Brendan Dillon, his third goal of the season. Time of the tally, 8 39. After the tying goal, however, Houston took over. Four straight arrows goals in the second and third periods had the Stars reeling. During that stretch, a Jeff Tafe goal off an odd man rush would prove to be the game winner. Morin to the high slot, tried to send it cross ice, broken up, and here come the arrows, left to right through center. 
Up and over line, two on one if they hurry. Round left circle, the tape in front, shot score. Jeff Tafe, second of the night, finishing off a two on one beautifully on a feed from Chad Rao. Time of the goal, 7-37. It's 3-1, Houston over Texas. Despite trailing, the Stars never gave up. Late in the third period, Sevier got one back for Texas. Sevier, left to right, back up through center. Sevier played it over the line on the right side. Frazier down low, snap to the net, save, made rebound. Chin Sevier scores! Colton Sevier has cut the Arrows lead to three, giving the Stars their second goal of the night. This one at 17-51. But that was as close as the Stars would get, and they lost 5-2. Coming up next for Texas is two road games against division opponents Abbotsford on Friday, March 4th, and then Sunday, March 6th. Be sure you listen in as the Stars try to beat the Heat. Josh Fisher will be on the call on ESPN Austin. 104.9 The Horn, 92.5 FM, and worldwide online at ESPNAustin.com. With your Texas Stars Plays of the Week, I'm Gabe Diamond.